Hi everyone, it's Rachel here and welcome to this brand new episode of the Ditch the Diet podcast. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Ditch the Diet podcast. If you're a brand new listener and this is your first ever episode, very warm welcome to you. This podcast was developed by myself. My name is Rachel Watson. Um, I am the owner of the company Ditch the Diet and we specialise in helping people to learn how to quit dieting forever and still lose weight if that is your goal but without any of the horrible restrictions that you often find in um, you know all the big diets out there and we teach you how to live a healthy lifestyle without having to go through any of that deprivation and food guilt that's associated with dieting so very warm welcome if it sounds like something that you'd be interested in then you're in the right place make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future episodes and remember we've got so many previous episodes as well that hopefully you'll be able to listen to now that you are a subscriber and if you're a regular listener then welcome back and thank you for coming back and I know I ask you this every single week but I'm going to ask you again anyway if you do enjoy listening to the podcast it would make a huge difference to me and I would really appreciate it if you could leave me a five star review on iTunes and all you have to do to do that is just scroll down on the device that you are listening to hit the five star button and leave me a couple of sentences of a review it would mean a lot to me so today's episode is just me talking to you um i get a lot of questions mostly via instagram if i'm being honest um asking me about my own personal journey with food um if i've ever been overweight and um i thought the podcast would be a really good opportunity to talk to you about those things So I have um, uploaded the audio from a Facebook Live that I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, So if you didn't see that, then now will be a good chance for you to listen. And um, in this, I'm talking about my previous history with dieting and the types of diets that I used to go on. It's just, it's a brief one, um, but I thought it would be a good way of starting to introduce a little bit of my story because I do get asked about that a lot. So I will upload a few episodes sort of in the future, in the next few months to talk about my own personal journey with food restriction, um, with being overweight and losing weight and how I've maintained my current weight for nearly two years. So hopefully that will be interesting to you. Um, So if you're listening to this episode on the day it comes out, it's the 28th of November 2019. Um, The Ditch the Diet Academy is currently closed. However... Uh, we are we have got a waiting list for our January five day intro program. So the Ditch the Diet Academy is an online membership that you can join that contains courses that you go through over a period of about six to nine months and it teaches you from scratch how to stop dieting. And what I would like to do is offer you the chance to come and learn about what Ditch the Diet is all about and get yourself motivated in January. Um, so we start um first Monday in January after the new year I'm not even sure what the date of that is but keep it in your diary Um, but you can actually get your name on the waiting list now for that course um, by going to www.ditchthedietacademy.com forward slash five days that's the number five in the word days I'll put the link in the show notes so if you want to find out what Ditch the Diet is all about and you want to make sure that you have a diet free year in 2020 then make sure you've got the name your name on the waiting list Um, So without further ado, here's the recording from the um, story that I told on Facebook a couple of weeks ago about my own journey with food restriction and weight loss. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's a good insight for you. If you do have any questions, I'll be back at the end to let you know how you can get in touch. (laughs) And um, something that I'm not proud of at all, but something that I've forgiven myself for, um, and I've forgiven myself for it quite a long time ago. So... Facebook memories came up today, 22nd of November 2012, seven years ago, and um, I've got it on my screen over here, and I'm going to try and show you in just a second, Um, but just a bit of preface first of all. So seven years ago, I worked in the fitness industry. I was not, uh, I hadn't done any of my qualifications in nutrition yet. I was kind of, it was about four years 
uh, into my my fitness kind of journey, I guess. Um, and I'd been qualified for how long? 9, 10, 11, 12, so about three and a half years. I'd been qualified as a fitness instructor, teaching fitness classes like body pump, body attack, all those kinds of things. And when you work in an industry where your body is basically um, the selling point for a lot of things, um, you feel under pressure to look a certain way. And I felt a lot of pressure. I don't know what it's like these days because I don't teach fitness anymore and I'm not a personal trainer anymore. Um, but I would imagine that it's quite similar, if not worse now, because when I first started teaching fitness, um, Facebook had only just come out. Um, there was no such thing as Instagram, really. I don't think there was any such thing as Instagram back then. There was no such thing. Um, and I had a little blog of my own because I've always kept a diary. Um, I've got blogs going back to like when the internet started. <laughs> I was the, um, very geeky in my younger days and I, I coded my own website when I was about 16. Um, so I was quite vulnerable. And a couple of other people in my sort of fitness circle came across this online coach right online coaching was really rare in 2012 like it just didn't really exist um but there I was we found an online coach who told us that in 30 days we would be able to I think it was called something about lean uh, 30 days like lean for life or God, I wish I could actually remember it. Probably in somewhere in the depths of my email inbox. Um, it's probably still there. I might actually have a look and see if I can find it. Anyway, um, it was like 30 days lean for life or lean for life in 30 days or burn. It, was, it had all these like typical get lean, burn fat, look amazing, get abs. And I thought that's exactly what I need. Like because I was a fitness instructor, I taught like up to 20, 25 hours of exercise a week so I was exercising a lot but my diet was horrific like horrendous when I look back um, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to redeem myself and learn a bit about nutrition so we embarked on this 30 day program um, now I don't blame anybody right I don't place blame on people because people are in my opinion always trying to do the best that they can Always. I think everyone's always trying to do the best that they can with the uh, resources that they have and the education that they have, right? So I don't blame this person, by the way, who is just an online person. I don't really know them. Don't blame them. But I would say around about this time, seven years ago, was when my relationship with food took a huge downward spiral. And um, I guess I'm kind of the lucky one that it didn't last too long, um, a few years at least. Um, but it had a profound impact in my life and still does. And I'm looking over here at the screen because when it came up in my memories this morning, I was like, oh my God, like, I wish I could take back all of that. Thankfully, um, I didn't actually post anything about the 30 day thing that we were doing on my business Facebook page because I must have been, I must have been thinking straight. Uh, but I have got posts coming up on my memories of things that we did back then. So this programme that we did, this 30 day lean for life, fat burning, get abs programme, I can't remember what it was called, I'll find out was basically 30 days of clean eating. So let me just say that again with these clean eating. And it meant that we had to remove gluten, wheat, all grains, dairy, sugar, and um, anything that's good for your soul <laughs> out of our lives. And I'll be honest with you, 
for the first few days and maybe maybe even the first couple of weeks I definitely thought I felt better like I felt less bloated I was um I lost weight I still got before and after photos my um I don't know I just felt I definitely felt better for it like there's no doubt about it I felt better but what was happening along the way was that I was slowly starting to plan a list and, it, and I had an actual written list. I was slowly starting to plan this list of things that I was going to binge on when the 30 days were over. So it was things like bread, Nutella, because I used to be proper, I used to have a proper love affair with Nutella. Um, chocolate, Maltesers, mostly that, mostly those things because we were restricting ourselves of them for 30 days. I didn't really think anything of it at the time, like I didn't think that was weird, I just thought well I'll do this for 30 days and then I'll eat all the shit that I normally eat and then I'll do another 30 days and then I'll eat whatever I normally eat and at the time I thought it's not really, um, it's not really a big deal is it, like let's just get on with it. Um, but my, my when I look back that was a massive problem because um, this lasted for a long time so it wasn't just this it was other stuff um, on a diet off a diet because at the end of the day this was a diet although it was dressed up as a healthy eating plan and um, it was a diet and I was completely oblivious completely oblivious so this morning this memory came up and I'm smiling because it's I remember how I felt at the time and uh, this was the post I'm just gonna turn my camera around you probably can't read it but it's um, a post from 22nd of November 2012 and it says sugar dairy gluten and grain free chocolate orange and cranberry muffins now they look all right don't they well let me tell you the truth right those muffins could have been used as a murder weapon because they were like blocks of concrete and I swear to god if you have if you had thrown uh, one of those muffins at someone um, they would have been concussed um, but it's not just it I probably still could make gluten free, dairy free, sugar free, grain free muffins but it would taste a lot better um, but then I just oh anyway so it's not even so much the picture like a picture is probably doesn't mean very much to you but to me it reminds me of just how I felt at the time and it wasn't even just so much the picture there were lots of comments on the picture as well some of them like from myself someone commented you took all the good stuff out and then I commented and replaced it with even better stuff <coughs> I'm actually cringing at myself um, and then someone else written um, that they wanted to have one and so I wrote I'll bring a couple tomorrow to class because I was going to be teaching a fitness class um, and then I wrote guilt free <gasps> I'm actually shuddering at the thought of the things that I wrote thank goodness it was only seen by a small number of people um, I think that was it really um, but what I did at the time was by posting these things and I was quite public about it at the time by posting these things um, I was basically um, getting a lot of questions from people and I did not um, know really what I was on about at the time and I just answered the questions based on what the person that had been coaching me had told me. And um, I probably shouldn't have done that. But anyway, fast forward seven years, I'm seven years older, seven years wiser, seven <coughs> years of education behind me. Um, and understand better how to, you know, teach people about nutrition, health ditching the diet funnily enough name of the page 
Um, but what I wanted you to sort of get from this is that even if you've believed the same thing for a long time, and trust me, like I believed that this was the way forward for everybody to eat. Um, I had, a, I was either on it or was off it, and I had no freaking idea that I was on a diet. Um, just uh, if you've been following something and you think that this is not quite right, there's something not right about this, and your gut feeling is saying this is not something that I know that I can sustain long term, and if you've got a really funny feeling that your relationship towards food and exercise is taking a downward spiral as a result of what you're doing, then listen to that listen to that gut feeling because you're probably right um, and there are so many things and I wanted to do this video this morning because there are so many things out there at the moment because it's that time of year and trust me my news feed is absolutely cluttered to the gunnels with this stuff as well at the moment um, that you have to lose a certain amount of weight in time for Christmas or you've got to lose a stone to fit into your party dress or in fact I actually got tagged in something on Instagram this morning which m made me so angry um, there's lots of people out there posting really 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 bad um, stuff out there that's not underpinned by evidence or science or true knowledge um, like this morning on, on Instagram I got tagged in a post by someone saying that oats are toxic um, and then I looked through the person's news feed and they were saying things like gluten is toxic and we should not be eating gluten and then there's all these things about and then I clicked through to someone else's account and there was someone saying that essential oils can cure cancer and oh my god like there's so much crap out there um, so that and that is why I've made it my mission to make sure that this page is full of only 100% true and honest advice um, hopefully written and communicated in a way that you can understand it um, and enjoy it um, and learn from it um, and just look back at seven years ago at myself seven years ago and just know that that person seven years ago was trying her best with the information that she had and unfortunately um, ate muffins that were absolutely rank rotten um, and told everyone else that they were nice. I lied about my muffins guys, I'm sorry. So at this time of year I want you to just put your fuck off cape on and, um, and don't allow anybody to tell you that something is verbatim, eh, something is um, is correct unless it's been backed up by real evidence. But that um, that episode of my life lasted a couple of years. It was you know I could do I could do a whole other video on my experience with disordered eating, which has been extensive and very difficult. But that's where it started. Unfortunately, I had never thought about food in that way ever before in my whole life. I could say that I wish that I had never embarked upon that 30 day challenge thing, but I'd be lying because if I hadn't embarked upon that, I wouldn't have had the experience that I've had that helps allows me to help other people because other people have been through what I've been through as well. And I can understand what it feels like to have followed a set of rules for such a long time and trying to change the way that your mind thinks on these things. So if anyone does want a really good recipe for muffins, <laughs> I have um I have redeemed myself and I have got some really nice, really good muffin recipes on the Ditch the Diet Academy website. So if you'd like me to link you to some good muffin recipes, then let me know in the comments and I'll pop the link down and you can make some. Thanks for being here this morning, thanks for watching and if you found <laughs>
So thank you again for listening to this episode. I hope you've enjoyed listening to a little bit of my story and it wasn't too boring for you. Um, But lots of you have asked me to tell a little bit about my background. So there's a little bit for you. If you'd like to get in touch with me and ask me any questions or suggest topics for any future episodes, then you can email podcast at ditchthedietacademy.com. That's podcast at ditchthedietacademy.com. And um, yeah, please send feedback, ask questions, suggest topics for future episodes. um, And just let me know what you think of the podcast. I'd love to hear from you. Um, If you're interested in learning more about the Ditch the Diet Academy, we are currently closed. We will be reopening in January with our five-day introduction, um, which there is now a waiting list for. So make sure your name is on the waiting list by going to ditchthedietacademy.com forward slash five days. That's a number five and the word days. Thank you very much for listening. I'll be back next week with another episode of the Ditch the Diet podcast.